All right, let's talk about the modern view of the atom. This is the absolute nuts and bolts of what you need to learn uh, in this chapter. If you can't get this part, then we need to reevaluate your status in uh, chemistry. All right, the modern view of the atom. The atom is mostly empty space. We have two regions in modern day atomic theory. The nucleus, which consists of protons and neutrons, and the electrons, or the electron clouds, the region where you find, or where you might find an electron. We're going to talk more about the electron cloud uh, in the next chapter, because the electron in chemistry is extremely important. Extremely, extremely important. So what we have is we have our protons, which have a positive charge and our neutrons, which are neutral, residing in that small positive dense center, and the electrons, which are negatively charged, residing in the outer uh, area. Protons are subatomic particles located in the nucleus of the atom with a positive charge equal to the equal mag magnitude, magnitude to the negative charge of the electron. Atoms are neutral due to the presence of equal numbers of protons and electrons. The nucleus also contains neutrons, which are electrically neutral subatomic particle. Now, as far as the nucleus goes, uh, where the protons and neutrons reside, we have a whole separate chapter that we're going to study on the neutron. Chapter 20... Um, one, I believe it is, studies nuclear chemistry. Look specifically at the nucleus, what's happening in the nucleus. Subatomic particles. We have three. Typically, let, let's talk about the electron. We're going to talk about the symbol and charge and uh, relative mass and actual mass of each. The electron, we typically denote by having a style uh, like a cursive type E with a negative sign at the top. A proton, we denote that by having a P with a little positive. The P positive obviously stands for the positive charge. And the neutron, we have a new, not a new, an N, rather, with a zero at top. The zero indicating that there is no charge. Now, we know that the electron has a negative one charge. The proton has a positive one charge. And the neutron is neutral. Now, let's talk a little bit about mass. It turns out, and on the subatomic level, we have differences in mass between protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now, this mass is actually very, very large. So what we usually, we typically describe, instead of using the actual masses, because it's going to be quite difficult, obviously, to use a triple beam balance or an electric balance uh, scale to measure the mass of an electron. We talk about relative mass. The, ele the relative mass of an electron is 0 0.0005 compared to that of a proton. We'll say a proton is on the range of 1, 1 whatever units we, we use. And neutrons are about the same size. So what the relative mass is, is that protons and neutrons are, about, are around the same mass, but electrons are itty, itty bitty small. Itty bitty, itty bitty small. Now, the actual mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 28 grams. Now, I, we don't have a scale in the world that will measure that. Okay, We don't have a scale in the world that will measure that. Um, as a matter of fact, when we work in the lab, in the next uh, coming up sections, we're going to talk about how do we work in lab if we can't measure out the individual atoms, but we work with a count of atoms that we're actually going to work with. Uh, the proton, size of a proton, is on the magnitude of about 1.67 times 10 to the negative 24th. Now remember, in scientific notation, you move those decimal places out, you're going to have 23 zeros in front of that 167. That's going to be an itty-bitty measurement. And of course, the neutron is about the same size as a proton, as far as mass goes. Modern view of the atom of the atom. You know there are three parts, three subatomic parts: proton, neutron, electron. Protons positive, electrons negative, neutrons neutral. There are two parts to an atom: the nucleus, which contains the proton and the neutron, and the electron cloud, which contains the electron. In the next chapter, we're going to actually study the electron.